Now, assuming I, I am that assistant instructor or something like that, I don't have an LLC. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Um, does it help to create a, a paper trail, if you will, or a documentation, documentation trail? Like, I've sent emails to my boss, the academy owner. Hey, um, this is going on. This this looks dangerous to me. That would the you know court look at that in any type of way? Do you think? They would certainly look at it uh, for prosecuting the case against the owner. <laughs> that would be more relevant for that. Yeah. If if you did some, you know, if they're making a claim against you as the assistant instructor, you mm -hmm. either did it or you didn't do it. Mm -hmm. um, if, if you're saying, hey, this guy keeps showing up and he's injuring people. What do I do? And you're not getting any support and you're not getting any response, but you continue to let that guy train. Mm -hmm. You continue to do that. Honestly, it's only going to hurt you because the, the, the course going to look at it and go, you knew this was a problem. You kept sending emails up the chain. They never responded. Well, it's your class. You're the instructor. It was your responsibility to tell them, Hey, you can't train here anymore as long no. as I'm teaching. No. So,